thrust of the letter is that our client, Coastal Partners, went through the normal permitting process for the uh, development of what was to be known as Cranston Crossing at the uh, Mulligan's Island site on New London Avenue in Cranston. <coughs> they submitted an initial application, several amendments to that. They worked with the City Planning Commission closely and went through the, as I said, the normal process, made some changes to the project as they went along. And ultimately, in the f towards the end of the year, 2020, the City Planning Commission issued a couple of memoranda which uh, laid out in extensive detail what the project was about, what the benefits were, and dealt with a number of objections that had been raised by a variety of other parties. And in essence, uh, green lighted the project and gave it a very favorable recommendation, said there are more issues to be worked through, but those are for the, the second phase of the uh, investigative uh, process. So things appeared to be on track and then essentially out of the blue when the, the matter was sent to the City Plan Commission, which is different from the Planning Department, mm -hmm. that commission issued essentially a negative recommendation and said it would, it would forward that recommendation to the Ordinance Committee. There are an awful lot of committees and bureaucracy involved mm -hmm. here. But <clears throat> come to find out that in, in the back and forth of the city, it became clear to Coastal that the reason, uh, the real reason why the project was not moving forward is that the administration, the city administration, uh, wanted to steer the Costco deal to a Carpionato um, property on Sakonasa Crossroads, which, as we understand it, uh, Costco had no interest in. So. Really, we weren't going through the, we learned that we were not going through the normal uh, permitting process as we expected that we would be. We learned that there was this other, essentially political obstacle to moving forward with the deal. And that's what the, that's what the dispute is about and that's what this letter is about. It is a statutorily required um, pre-suit notice to the city. If the, ci the city has 40 days to get the matter resolved, if it does not, then we can go ahead and file suit.